Hey you, psst, yeah you. I know why you're watching this video, but don't worry, your secret is safe with me. I mean, you're looking at a guy who has a platinum on the PS3 version of Megamind, so who am I to judge? Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to leave me your thoughts and suggestions down in the comment section. So today we are having no shame and we're going to talk about all platinum trophies that are extremely easy to acquire with minimal effort. I've had a really weird fetish for these as of late. You are sick man, sick. In fact, the games I'm about to discuss in said video will probably take you less than half an hour to achieve. And in some cases, less than 15 minutes. Because we're all busy people here. We don't need that extra stress in our lives. Alright guys, and before I begin, I'd love to know, what games do you recommend that have extremely easy and quick platinum trophies? Make sure to leave me your suggestions down below. Don't worry, I won't judge because <laughs> here are my personal choices. And that goes to Jack and Jill DX. Now, I don't know about you all here, but back when I was a child and I used to read Jack and Jill, I don't remember them looking like this. Must be the director's cut of the book. And they also must have been on acid. So in this, you can play either as Jack or Jill, and it's up to you to traverse 2D platforming levels in order to find the other character. I use character loosely with this game. And I was actually kind of surprised at that. I thought for sure that you would have to play Jack looking for Jill, but no, they're giving you some options here, so I guess that was pretty cool for what it's worth. Now, although Although this is a standard platforming game, it doesn't exactly play like one. You see, it's a cross between a 2D platformer, but also an auto runner. Oh man. Please, no. Don't worry, it's not as bad as it sounds. As soon as you hit the X button, the character will start moving on their own, and the only thing that you can do at that point is just hit X in order to jump over obstacles or wall jump later on in the levels. Yeah, we're loosely playing Ninja Gaiden now, apparently. Didn't see that coming. Also, no, we're not. Kind of an interesting choice. Me, personally, I would have liked this to be just like a regular platformer a la Awesome P back in the day, but, uh, you know, you do you, devs. And I will admit, having this as a semi-auto runner does make the levels quite intense during some parts. I was peeing green at that point, but you won't have to be playing this game for very long because the Platinum Trophy will take you roughly 15 minutes or less to acquire. And all you gotta do is complete a level, complete a world, grab a coin, kill enemies, buy a thing from the store, play a mini game, unlock a mini game. In other words, play it like you normally would. Heck, you don't even have to even come close to beating the game in order to grab the Platinum. Along with 11 gold trophies, this is one that is sure not to disappoint. I mean, I certainly wasn't. Okay, so now that we've finally allowed Jack and Jill to find one another, let's move on to Super Weekend Mode. And if anyone in the comments section can actually tell me why in the heck this game is even called Super Weekend Mode, I really would like to know because I'm confused. But you don't care about all of that stuff, we only care about one thing, Latinum, make it rain. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing with this game, so there's no story at all from what I can tell in this title. And with a title like Super Weekend Mode, it's probably gonna leave you scratching your head with what the heck it's even all about. Well, it's kind of odd. It sort of plays like an Arkanoid clone, but with shmup elements and maybe even a little bit of Pong to wash the whole thing down. It's weird, it's wacky, it's pixelated, it's a very easy platinum. Should take you less than 15 minutes to acquire. So you choose a character, to which I'm not even sure if you're actually even playing a character, and you use the shoulder buttons to control both of your shooting whatever the heck these things are. Apparently this dev was doing acid too. The left trigger controls the left side and the right trigger controls the right side. And you gotta shoot the boss the entire time, all while trying to collect hearts and not skulls because those are like instant death. And much like with Jack and Jill, you pretty much just have to play the game like you normally would. Yeah, I'm sensing a pattern here. And I love it. So in order to acquire said platinum trophy, you'll be having to do extremely difficult tasks like beat stage one, beat stage two, kill an enemy, get an extremely quick high score, play the game at maximum difficulty. You don't even have to even technically play it, just choose it and it pops up. And much like with the last game, you'll be expected to not only have a platinum trophy, but also 11 gold to go along with your haul. Yeah, I don't think this one's gonna disappoint either. 
Well, after that extremely difficult task, what can we expect next? Another easy platinum, this is Deep Space Rush. Now you think with a title like Deep Space Rush that we would be in for something awesome, but unfortunately, we're not. In fact, this is probably my least favorite game so far. I mean, it sounds awesome on paper. You control some sort of space cadet dude who has to go from point A to point B, shooting a bunch of enemies in randomly generated like space, I don't know, UFOs or something like that. Sort of kind of plays like Mega Man if Mega Man was terrible. I just didn't like the jumping controls in this. You fall like a stone, and some of the enemies are extremely hard to see and just very cheap in general that I didn't really have much fun with this one. The whole experience just felt very clunky. But thankfully, you won't have to be playing this one very long because this will take you approximately around a half an hour or less to accomplish. But what extremely difficult tasks can we expect from this one? Well, aside from the frustration of just having to play this one, numbers are the name of the game with this particular title because you'll be getting a trophy for every 10 enemies you kill, going all the way up to 50 and then finally 100, and clearing a certain amount of zones, which might I add, each zone roughly takes a few seconds to get through. Whoa brutal. Going again all the way from 10 to 50 and then the final one being at 100. Oh, but the hits don't stop there. You'll also be required to buy a heart from the shop, level up a gun, which means you're only going to be buying the same weapon like three or four times. You'll also need to die once, which believe me is going to be happening a lot even if you're not trying to go for that particular trophy. Yay. So because this game is not very good in my personal opinion, I would recommend downloading it, turning your brain off, and just press forward shooting everything in sight until the platinum pops. Oh, and don't forget, you know, you'll actually have to access the store for a second or two. Now, as far as the trophies go, this has probably the most as far as number count, but they're not all gold. There's around 10 gold and a few silver and bronze. So, is this platinum worth all of the mental scars that this game will inflict upon you? Yeah, sure, why not? And thus, that will conclude this segment of us having no shame. I mean, you know, acquiring very easy platinum trophies. This handheld is certainly no slouch when it comes to easy platinums. There are a ton of games that have this, uh, feature, I guess if you can call it. So, what are your suggestions, guys? What are some of your favorite games that have extremely easy platinum trophies? Make sure to leave me them down in the comment section, and hey, maybe you'll see them in a future video. And as always, follow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous supporters who help make this content possible. So a huge thank you goes out to Chris Foxhound, Franz Hartle, Hector Gonzalez, Buzz Saiyan, Aridri, Kayonko, Razal Pliskin, No Good, Burzen Mystery, 1488 Dental, Lacerated87, Juan M, Hermasio, Azumara, Eric DeWitt, Nintendo Switch at 2AM, Starlight Mirror, Tasha Monty, Donut Valley, Zenkai Ranger, PSP Guru, Mazgus, Ricardo Martinez, Sabin Fire, Jamie, Mad Hargit, Dr. Super Artie, Air Kick72, Legion21, Randy Azudech, Worthorga, B Mystery, Zacredo, Matt Fox, Alan Iwazuk, Reiko Star, Shin Snake, New Orashi, Milk Sama, Meshuga 360, Bushin Ryu Cat, Gutter Drums, Phantom XRS, BMF, Hero Acer, Hemdal Ember, Saul Ramirez, Claymer Merlarkey, Adam Sondi, Kyle Brooks, BG Legends, PS Vita S, JR, Jared Hado, Richard Cruz, Silica, Kevin Enright, Joseph Shavak, Per Sterner, Heston Joseph, Jelle, Wendy K, Adam Thurry, Crazy Cat, H Hitter, David Ray, Skullshirtugal TCG, Rodrigo Vera, Michael O'Connor, and a big thank you to Michael Marchand, Thomas Cremet, and Drox13 for the recent outside donations. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and gaining access to a number of perks, including having your name featured on the end credits of these videos, or if you wish to remain anonymous that can be provided to, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from both Amazon and play Asia for anyone who is interested in purchasing something from them. Basically, the way it works is so long as you use one of those links to just access their website, then anything you purchase afterwards, a small commission will go to help support this content at no extra cost to you, the consumer. I also have channel merchandise available, and of course, as always, likes and shares can help equally as much. No, seriously, I've been having a fetish as of late for extremely easy platinum trophies. Wonder what that says about me as a person.